right, I'm here with Lily Borden, who is currently on Westworld. Lily, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you came out tonight? Sure. Um, I'm friends with TJ Scott and Dennis Illich, the photographers, directors, um, just amazing people. And uh, they've both shot me. Yeah, you know, obviously, <laughs> not like that, but like that. Um, and and uh, I'm just happy to be here and, and support them, and I'm grateful that they invited me and thought to have me here tonight. Well, I'm really excited that to meet someone from Westworld because that's my new fan favorite. Thank Can, you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's it's an amazing show. I, I feel that way. Can Without giving any spoilers, can you tell us a little bit about your character? Yeah, of course. Um, I play a fortune teller in Westworld, and um, various characters come and consult me in the later episode in the series. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of as much as you can say without giving so. things I'm away. I'm not sure how much more I can say. Oh, my goodness. So, all right, yeah. this is going to be so, the AI aspect of Westworld. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I've dealt with that. Uh, on other projects, it's something that keeps coming up. Like I was um, the female lead of Blood and Chrome, Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome. Oh, wow. And I actually play Becca Kelly, who created the brains of the Cylons. So I'm very intrigued by that the whole concept of, of artificial intelligence. Um, and, and as far as what the implications of that are, we're seeing that with the smartphones and, and just how, how reliant we are on computers. Um, and then I think there will be a day when there will be a face-off between artificial intelligence and the humans that created it when we've, you know, it can happen. I mean, if, if you follow the trend, you know, Elon Musk, out of control. Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have been warning us all about it. They so have, and I, they're, they're pretty something. smart people, so I would yeah. read, read with caution. Trust the brains. Well, before yes. we scare everyone, um, <laughs> it is Halloween. What are you going to ask for Halloween? I'm dressing my boyfriend up as a polar bear with two stuffed teddy bears that I bought him at the thrift shop, and I'm going to wear a gold wig, and we're going to be Goldilocks and the three bears. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. I love couples costumes. I make my husband do that every year. Yeah, I try to get really embarrassing costumes, so next year I think I'm going to turn the polar bear costume into a lamb costume and like add cotton balls to it and be like a uh, little Bo Peep and her Mary had a little lamb, whatever. <laughs> I like it. Whatever is embarrassing that I can do to get back at him that one day of the I year. like your style. What are, are you going as? Oh, um, so we are going as a wolf man and a wolf hunter. I love it. So.